Hey guys, welcome back. Modi here, and we are back in Dingleberry, picking up right where we left off. So let's just kind of recap and get a idea of where we're sitting at right now. So we're currently sitting at 14 uh, adults and 8 children, so that's what, 22 total people. We're in summer of year 4. Our food's okay, most of our resources are okay, our stone's a little light, um, but we're, we seem to be doing okay, so uh, I'm saying okay a lot. Uh, we just gained another labor, and it looks like we should be good to go, so let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can survive this. Let's look real quick and see, we got, uh, we got a family with two young children, children, I'm trying to see if we need any more houses. Doesn't look like we have any adults, and I use that loosely, still living with their parents. So let's go ahead and hit play and get everybody moving around and see what we can try and get into. So we're saying firewood is low, but no, we're okay. So we are low on stone. So let's go ahead. We only have one laborer, so we're not going to get much. Let's go ahead and clear some stone out of here. Make that a priority. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, there we go. All right, we got the harvest coming in. We're sitting at about, I know you guys can't see a lot of these numbers, so I'm going to try and let you know. We're sitting at about 670 in food. We just got ourselves another laborer, so they should be uh, getting out, getting that stone for us. We do have a builder that should be picking stuff up for us as well. All right, so let's kind of think about what we're going to need. Um, looks like we're down three foresters, down a hunter, down a fisherman, down two gatherers. And what do we need? Oh, and down two farmers. So we're not doing wonderful. But hopefully we're going to get... We've gotten a few laborers in. We had another baby born. That works out. So let's kind of look at our, our house thing again. So let's go ahead and throw another house. And I know we're Still doing wooden houses for now. Let's throw down another two houses. And uh, see if that helps us. Looks like the harvest is we got we're in we're in mid-autumn. Looks like they're finishing up the harvest right now. And we're at over seventeen hundred food, so that's pretty good. Uh, I wanna go in here and see what this is. These are mushrooms. Okay. Alright, so we got Let's go ahead and throw another, uh, what do I want to put? Let's get another uh, forester, maybe? No. Another gatherer. Let's throw another gatherer out there, because we just got another person. Okay. So we want to try and keep laborers up so we can keep up on stuff. Our stone's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull a little bit more stone from this area. There's not much out there, but there's some. And we are going to have to clean out. we got our forester pretty much reforesting this area here. So we can clear out this area to <coughs> pretty much make land. Let's go ahead and actually just pull all resources from here. And that's three laborers. And I don't know if there's any buildings we need. I kind of want to get the buildings we have. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a couple in there. Let's not pay attention to their ages. And a couple in there. Uh, let's see. Young child. Young child. Just trying to see if we need another house quite yet. Did you get another laborer? Oh, that's not a house. Uh, woodcutters by themselves. So we'll just leave that, you know. We do have a blacksmith, a female blacksmith, and a female woodcutter. That's why they're not moving in. They, they can. I'm not here to judge. They can do whatever they want. All right, we have another baby born. Let's go ahead and throw... Let's say... Let, let's, let's top out our fishermen. What do we say about that? Let's go ahead. Where are they at? Uh, fishermen right here. So we got all four fishermen that we need. That's good. And like I said, I kind of want to get these jobs filled before we start creating new ones because if you kind of thin everything out um firewood is low but we are in late winter and we are pulling in a lot of trees right now getting another hunter out here may not be a bad idea there's a lot of animals out here 
All right, so they're doing that. The farmer should be coming off and working on the farms here. We're definitely, I'm thinking we might make this area kind of like a farm area, like this area down here along the coast, because we can make farms down here. We won't really disturb the woodcutter or gatherers or anything. And then we can put fishing, uh, fishing huts along this way here, so. All right, um, we're up back up to four. Let's go ahead and throw, since it's the beginning of spring, let's throw another farmer in. And let's see how they're coming along with the stuff over here. Pretty decent. All right, let's go ahead and throw another house up as well. You don't want to oversaturate it, but you want to kind of keep the population growing. We're clearing out this area. This is where we're going to expand our town. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and <coughs> this is something we can kind of do. So let's go ahead and put a road along here. There's going to be kind of some dead space, but you know, let's pull this down. Let's see. To about th there. We're going to pull this across and bring it down to here. All right. So that gives us some space to build up up here. We might even be able to do some stuff over here. All right, so we're doing pretty good. We're going into early summer, and uh, food's dropping, but we're at about 1,000, so that's not bad. Our firewood's at 81, so let's hope that this little little person here can keep up. All right, we're up to four people. Let's see if we can get this filled up. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in our fourth gatherer. So we're down a hunter. We're down three foresters. And we're down a farmer, and that's all we're down. We just got another laborer in. So let's go ahead and throw, let's throw another forester in. All right, we're getting close to catching up to our, our uh, all the workers we need, which would be nice, because then we can start adding some more. Let's see, these have X's on them, they do. Okay. So these guys have quite a ways to go to bring all this stuff in. That's why it's not going super fast. So in this game, you kind of want to do as much as you can for convenience. Um, but I'm kind of sacrificing their convenience now to be able to get the wood, stone, and iron up here so that uh, the woodcutter and the blacksmith have easy access to it. If I put a stockpile here, these guys will go a lot quicker, but then these guys will have a further place to come to gather resources. All right, we just built this house. We got two people in it. Dude. Did we find the, the blacksmith somebody? We did. Oh, no. No, she's a strong, independent woman. She don't need no man. She somehow made a child, but good for you. Good for you, settler lady. All right. So, let's see. We're still sitting at three. And let's kind of see. We'll take a moment here while we're looking. So, we got uh, houses, uh, wood houses, stone houses, and boarding houses. So we made the wood in the boarding house, the wood houses in the boarding house. Um, for roads, we've got dirt roads, stone roads. Now, dirt roads will make them walk faster than having to walk through the brush, okay? Stone roads will make them walk faster than that. Uh, we have wooden bridges. We're gonna have those to get across the things. And then we have tunnels that we're gonna use to make, to get like, if we wanted to continue this road over here, we put a tunnel through here, so. All right, we're at 2,700 food and 200 firewood. Let's go ahead, let's pop up logs to 500. And let's pop up fuel, which is firewood, up to 300. These are basically just the caps, so. And then we can see here we've got a decent amount of logs down there. Oh, we had a... Uh, we had Florina, the gatherer, died during childbirth. And uh, Lassity replaced them as a gatherer. A child named Tennis, Tennessee, Ten, T E N I S E, Ten, Tennessee, Tennessee, was born. Weird names. Weird, weird names. All right, so we're about 2,700 food again in, uh, looks like, early winter. Looks like they've done a pretty good job of clearing this area out. So let's go ahead and keep them busy. Uh, let's see. And we got uh, a new laborer that just came in. So let's go ahead and clear out, say, that area. That shouldn't get into this wood gatherer's area too much. 
Uh, we got a pretty good, decent amount of food. Really looks like a lot of these guys are keeping up. All right, so we're still sitting. I'm kind of wanting to sit at three uh, gather or three uh, laborers. I don't want to have that number drop too much. That way, if somebody dies, we have somebody to replace them. So <coughs> we do need one more farmer, one more hunter, and two more foresters, and we should be pretty caught up so we're just waiting on these these so we do have a farmer in here that could be moved out we still have this person well why didn't they move in with him i don't know uh we got a new baby named asha asha was born so good for them all right now we're coming out we're in early spring of year six and considering last episode, we I feel we came real close. We're up to 21 adults and 10 children. So that's actually working out pretty well. And our stockpiles are okay. They're kind of bringing in a decent amount of wood. They're getting the stone and the iron out of this area. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. I want to put a little road right here. Like that, okay. And looks like they finished up these other roads we just put in. Let's go ahead and put in, let's put in a new house. We'll put one right here. We'll kind of keep everything tight to each other. We got a new baby born, so we're slowly but surely going up. We got that road back there. Let's go ahead and grab a road. Just want to kind of make things as easy as possible we'll do that we'll bring this road back behind the woodcutter and down all right and let's see let's let's see how things are going we're doing good here we got our gather we got our hunter and we got our foresters lodge <coughs> looks like we had a builder die and they haven't been replaced but we only need I only need one right now so this house is almost done. And there we go. And we've already got a couple that have moved in. All right, so let's, let's back up a little bit and kind of take a look at things. So we've cleared out this area for our, and I'm, and I'm kind of leaving this to see if the, the foresters add any trees right here. And uh, we can go back a little bit further here. We can definitely go up. We've got a pretty decent chunk of land. Without having to build a bunch of tunnels, we can come down here. We got more waterways. Uh, we got a lake. That's kind of cool. All right. Nice. All right. So let's see where we're at. So we got babies being born. Uh, the harvest. We're doing great on food. We're at 2,400. Um, and uh, 26. And we're at the beginning. We're at the middle of summer. So... All right, let's take a moment and let's go ahead and grab, let's, uh, do I want to go up or out? I kind of want to go out. Let's go ahead and just do, we're just going to do smaller sections so we don't overwhelm them. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm really just waiting on a couple people to grow up. Uh, let's see, we talked about putting farms out here. Let's get rid of this. Let's just get rid of this tree here. I don't like that guy. That guy's shifty. I don't trust him. All right, we got ourselves another labor. Let's go ahead and throw... We'll throw another forester out there. So we're, we're, we're one away from completing foresters, one away from completing hunters, and one away from completing farmers so far. All right, and let's go ahead and pop down another house. There's not a whole lot of town management we necessarily have to do here at the beginning. Let's go ahead and pop logs up to 600. <coughs> and like I said, I can put some... Uh, once we kind of start building out here, let's let's do that too. Once we start building out here, I'm going to put more stockpiles around. I'm going to kind of go there. And... There right, we got winter coming in. All right, let's kind of see. We have 3,200 food. We're actually doing pretty decent on food. Of course, you know, that's in this game. That can change at any moment. All right, we're just waiting on our builder. There they go. Starting to chug along. We only have one, so they're doing the best they can. And boom. 
and we already have people moved in. That is nice. Not you. I don't want to. Nope. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. Stop. Okay. All right. So let's kind of look. We have a uh, we have a child that's just of now. Mind you, in this game, it's kind of being authentic-ish. So kids can start kids start working at ten. There, we have no schoolhouses. They're old enough to get out there. So the the moving in and having kids staying that's a little weird. But so we got a nine-year-old living here. We got a nine-year-old living here. We got an eight-year-old and a newborn. We got a four-year-old, a nine-year-old, a six-year-old, a uh, lonely 30-year-old, an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, and it looks like we're going to, we got a one-year-old and no kids yet. So it looks like we're probably going to get a pretty decent-sized rush of laborers here in the not-too-distant future. Firewood's a little low, so we may want to think about possibly, yeah, we're, we're at zero firewood, but we are in the middle of winter, so thinking maybe we might want to get another wood cutter. So let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's take this road. Let's extend it out just a little bit. All right. Like to about right there. Okay. Oh, we just got an influx of laborers. There. Here they come. Here they come. All right. Let's top off our farmers. Let's top off our hunters, and let's top off our foresters. So now we're sitting at three laborers, and everything else is good. So this is a good time. Let's go ahead and put a small stockpile here, all right? And I know firewood is low. I'm currently taking care of that. And let's go ahead and put another woodcutter here. All right, so we're going to get that built. Let's go ahead and throw another builder on there so we can get done a little bit quicker. Then we can pull that builder down once it's actually done. All right, looks like they cleared this area out. Let's start working down this way. And we're also going to end up starting to put stuff in the this new stockpile here. So you can see there's already wood there. <coughs> this person has a decent amount of wood. And once this is done, which we're at 77%, we're just waiting on the builders to finish hammering. 90 and 100. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull down a builder for now and throw another woodcutter up like that. All right. And these guys are starting to bring stuff right here. That's nice. And I'm pretty much this road is going to be the, the area for the... Uh, woodcutter. We don't want to really mess with his stuff unless we get into a pretty nasty bind. We're kind of doing okay. And I'm thinking, all right, let's kind of figure out another farm. Uh, not necessarily launch it yet, but well, we could, we could. Uh, let's see, food farm. All right, so let's, uh, I'm thinking let's, let's kind of keep it tight here. Maybe... I want to make sure, okay, so let's do that. Nothing huge, let's go like an eight by 10, all right? And then let's grab our road stuff. I wanna make sure that we can make roads work. That's exactly what I was afraid of, damn it. Um, let me uh, get rid of this, all right. Let's go ahead. Let's, you know, let's lay out the road first. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? So that we, we, we look, you know, things look nice. Let's go down a few. We're going to come to about there. We're going to come down like that. And we'll do that. All right. And now we'll grab a farm and stick it right in here. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. We have peppers and cabbage. I say we go in under cabbage. And then we just need one more farmer. We'll throw that farmer in there. And I'm getting a feeling we might need a little bit more homes. So let's throw, you know, let's get wacky. Let's throw two houses right in this area. And let's grab our road. I'm going to kind of come up see where we can go right there and come across we're going to come down like this there we go so those two houses are being worked on uh we got this new farm i don't think it's late summer i don't think they're going to start doing the harvest this year 
Um, but we're once again, we're at 3,200 food in early autumn, and we're still finishing up this harvest here. We still have 70% of it to go. Uh, we got this first house built. We got people moved in there. And let's see. You should probably get an influx of people here soon, too. And uh, we got two people in there. Nice. Okay, cool. So we're currently at 29 adults and 10 kids. It seems like the kids are staying roughly about the same number. Um, our wood cutter is full here. Let's pop that wood up to 700. And what's what's it look like? We're at 629. Okay. How's this coming on? Oh, man. They are cooking along. Let's go ahead and... Oh. Oh. A building caught fire. I've never had that happen. What do I do? Um. Oh no. Oh no. What what are they doing? Are they? Oh, they're they're making a a, a chain of people getting water. I think I needed a well. I've never put a well in because I never needed it. Okay. All right. They're getting buckets. Oh man, we're we're over on this episode, but I want to see what happens. We got a couple homeless people. All right, throw the buckets on there. Bucket Brigade, let's go, let's go, let's go. That is amazing. I've never, I played this game a decent amount and I've never seen that happen. So house caught on fire. Okay, uh, please don't light any of my other houses on fire. Structure's been severely damaged. Okay, how are these ones? These ones are cool. They're just chilling out in the house. All right, keep that Bucket Brigade going, people. Let's keep that Bucket Brigade going. All right, you're really focusing on this corner of this house. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, all right, we'll rebuild in a second. Come on, hurry up. Put them out. Oh, there's one back here on fire, too. Oh, no, my town's going to burn down. Uh... <laughs> All right, come on, Bucket Brigade. Come on. Oh, we got a fifth one. We got a fifth one. Oh, we're going to have to dump a lot of the builders. Um, and it's autumn. How's our food? Our food's fine. Oh, no. All right, I hate to do this, but let's speed this up so that we can see if we can get it done. All right, it's raining. Does the rain help? Please tell me the rain helps. All right, let's go. Is it any more than those five? Oh, no. No! The big building's on fire. I think we're about to watch my town burn down. Oh, no. Um, yeah, they're all burning. Okay. Uh, it's winter time. Come on. They're all homeless. They're all homeless. Oh no. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's slow this down, a scooch, and let's uh, all right rebuild and rebuild and rebuild. And I'm gonna I don't know if it uses resources to do this. Let's dump a bunch of people into builders. Uh, let's see. Right, let's speed this back up. All right, we're getting, we got homeless people now. Uh, let's rebuild. Let's, all right, that one's, wait. Oh, they're taking him down. Okay, rebuild, 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 and rebuild. Okay, rebuild. Oh, man, rebuild. Oh, it's bad. These, like, three people are like, we did good. All right. Let's try and get everything rebuilt. Come on, people. This is going to, I think, take a dent out of our food and a couple other things. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and pause there. <coughs> and we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to pick it up next time right here. So, All right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Um, go check out the Patreon where you can play with your new best friends, the squad. And go check out Host Havoc for all your server needs. Also, go check out um, my regular channel down in the description. And you can also go check out the new Pinky and the Beard channel. Heather and I's 
brand new channel um, that we'll be launching videos very soon. And we will pick up right here in the next episode. Anyways, guys, till next episode, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time.